Happy New Year! Yes, honey child, we are kicking off 2020 in style because the January Sophie and Toffee box of 2020 has arrived right on time on New Year's Day. I am here with all the bells. No whistles though. <laughs> Let's get into it. your girl Aisha Shasha. I'm super duper excited because it's the January Sophie and Toffee Elves box <laughs> and I can't wait to see what is inside. I already know the theme because nowadays you just can't avoid spoilers. <laughs> so I know that the theme is vending machines. What's in it however I have no idea. So without further ado let's get straight into it. I wonder what color that the box is going to be last time it was a beautiful shade of pink i will not be mad if this is pink again i won't be mad let me see oh honey child and this time <laughs> it matches my ears last time it totally matched my hair and this time it matches my ears this is such a gorgeous color i love it it's such a beautiful shade of pink and these make really really good storage boxes as well because lord knows now i need a lot more storage honey so <laughs> okay so if you are brand spanking new to my channel first and foremost hello and thank you so so much for being here if you love all things to do with resin crafts or decadent crafts or just arts and crafts in general and if you are a subscriber to sophie and toffee or you're thinking about subscribing to sophie and toffee make sure that you definitely do subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any more of my videos because i do a lot of videos on those topics now all that being said i tend to do my unboxings blind so i literally just open up, stick my hand in, pull something out and react to it. I don't know whether you've noticed, but I'm quite an over the top person. <laughs> I'm not just, you know, you run of the mill kind of girl. Like I'm a bit much. So <laughs> I was going to say, please excuse me, but no, I apologize him. This is how I am. <laughs> okay. So sticking my hand in the first thing that I can feel feels like shaker film which already just makes me happy because I love me a good shaker I've still got so much that I need to make from the December blowout box oh my goodness so we have shaker film Ooh, how was everyone's Christmas by the way please do comment below let me know how your Christmas was and also what you did for new year this feels like it's the booklet I'm going to pop that down there because I'll look at that later now what are you are you some stickers of some sort what are these plushies candy store fresh soda oh my goodness i can tell this is going to be so damn cute <laughs> i'm excited i am excited you know that i'm all about that kawaii lifestyle honey so anything that is small and cute and pastel i am here for it okay what is this oh <laughs> So these you can actually stick on your nails, but they are teeny tiny little animals. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so, so cute. Oh my god. I can feel packing peanuts, guys. You know that I'm happy about packing peanuts, but I can also feel shred. So it's like a mixture of packing peanuts and shred that I've got today. Okay. This feels like a lot of resin. So I'm guessing this is epoxy resin. Fabulous. And it is the one to one ratio. We like the one to one ratio. I haven't yet used the three to one ratio from the blowout box last month, but I have heard that um, some people were finding it a little bit either not necessarily hard to use, but just that it took quite a long time to cure. So I think that the one to one is probably the best way to go. So that's just a little, a little bit of feedback from me. <laughs> Oh, I think I've picked up like three pigments at a time. Hold on. Is that three pigments? Oh, my favorite colors as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, so wait, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. This is, okay, so this is, this is royal blue UV resin. Okay, so that's not a pigment. That's actually just UV resin, but it's in a blue color. And then we have got um, uh, purple and, oh, this is a gorgeous magenta. I like that. Lovely violet and rose. Oh, hang on. Let me turn it around so you can see properly violet and rose uh, pigments i don't have these colors because honey i have a lot of pigments like loads of pigments um and i have quite a few duplicates as well but i don't have these these are beautiful are you guys already know pink purple and blue those are my colors girl <laughs> okay what is this this feels like it's another mini uv resin what color are you apple green again i don't have apple green uv resin so looking forward to using some of that that's gorgeous. 
what else have we got here? Let me just move all the shred out of the way. What's this? Oh, okay. So these are some cute little like uh, candy looking balls, I guess. Can these fit inside of the shaker mold that we're going to get? Goodness knows, I've got no idea, but it's all very bright and colorful, so I'm happy about that. Okay, this feels like embellishments. Oh, these are cute. Oh, okay, so we've got some stars, some hearts, and some little like uh, triangles and some teeny tiny little beads in gold, silver, and also in a rose gold as well. Let me just take this out so you can see. I absolutely love using these sort of things in resin. Look at those gold balls go, look at that. I'm not even like shaking it or anything. Like <laughs> that's just the static. <laughs> I am very easily pleased. <laughs> Why am I laughing at some micro marbles jumping around because it's static? Like what is, what is my life? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what's this? This feels a little bit more squishy. What's this? Okay, that feels like little um, um, Fimo clay confetti pieces. That's what that feels like. Yes, I'm right. Oh, and they're all candy. Yes, honey child, I'm all over that. I love like sprinkles and things that just looks like food because I love food, particularly of the dessert variety. <laughs> okay, gosh, there's a lot in this box, you know. There's a lot. They have blessed us this month, honey. Oh my God. Oh, oh that's adorable. Oh my gosh. So we have, this is so cute. We have a mini soda and like, like, like bag of crisps and, and chocolate mold. This is so tiny. I can't stress. Look at this. Look at how tiny that those are. This is adorable. These would be really cool as well. If you do stuff to do, oh, hello, I'm not even in focus. Focus on me, please. If you do stuff to do with um, uh, like uh, dolls houses or if you like repaint dolls and stuff like that, this would be so cute to like make little accessories for them as well. I can't get over how small and cute that this is. What is next? This feels like one of those um, cup type molds. No, what is that? Is this just for like making some sort of container? Okay, so it feels like that's some sort of like container mold or it might be to make like a sphere if you put them together. I'm not entirely sure. It's a type, a type of like hollow mold though. Maybe it's just like a sort of like dome. I'm not sure, but all will be revealed when I check out the um, uh, the booklet. Everything will be revealed in there, so that's fine. This feels like a nice big squishy mold. Okay, what is this? Oh my gosh, the actual vending machine. Okay. <laughs> you already know that I'm gonna make this into a necklace, don't you? Like, that's a no-brainer. I, I hope that you would know me by now and know that whatever I make, I tend to wear it, so. <laughs> You can expect a vending machine necklace tutorial in the next coming days. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I like that. I've never seen anything like it. Mind you, this is a Sophie and Toffee branded one. So like ones that have the Sophie and Toffee label on it, um, you can't get those ones anywhere else. But um, I really like the quality of the silicone on this. This is a really nice, strong, strong quality silicone. Oh, this is gonna look so adorable. Oh, I can't wait to make this. I really can't wait. There's so much in this box. What is the... No. Get all the way out. You're not ready. You're not ready. Look at this. Look at these mini plushes. Can we please have a moment? Look at this teeny tiny miniature plushes. Look at how cute that that is. Oh my goodness. That's just too much. Is there any more for any more? Yes, there is. Jesus, how much is in here? I am so impressed. What color resin is this? So we have black resin here as well. I don't know. What? I've just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> I don't know 
whether everybody got the same colors of pigments and resins that like it may have been like a sort of there are six to choose from and you get some at random it might have been that because that does tend to be the case sometimes okay another mold oh my god oh oh so this is okay so is this one oh wait are they are they are they both vending machines so i think that this one might be for like for like the plushes maybe or for like the drinks and the snacks and then this one i think this one's probably more for the drinks and the snacks do you know what i don't know and i don't care okay <laughs> the fact is is we have some very very cute looking vending machines here i've never ever seen a like a vending machine mold before this is adorable look at the detail on that like this is gonna this is gonna come out really really nice and do you see what i mean about the quality of the silicone like this is like super duper shiny that's gonna come out absolutely beautiful i think okay so i have a whole load of shred but only four packing peanuts i've only got four peanuts oh well happy new year <laughs> I'm not throwing the shred. Okay, so we've got the winners of the October creative contest. That's quite a while back, actually, because we're, we're, we're in January now. So um, we've got, we've got uh, uh, Geeky, Geeky Cherry, uh, Creations Art, Artemisia, and Studio Senobara, who've all created these beautiful uh, dragon eggs. I think I recall seeing that lovely Fabergé egg. I might have even commented on that one actually on Instagram. Look how stunning that that is. See, if you hashtag your, your pictures with um, hashtag the elves box, or if you include Sophie and Toffee in your tags, then you've got much more of a chance of being noticed by them. If your work just basically makes them so happy, then they will feature you in these little booklets now, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and you can actually win a premium L's box, which is what this is, by the way. This here is the premium box. So if there's some things in here and you're like, mm, I didn't get that, it's because you may have gotten just the original box. Okay, so, right. So the exclusive items are the plushy mold. The t oh, okay, so this is a toy capsule mold, right? Okay, so the plushes go into here in the little toy capsules. Okay, that makes sense. So that's premium add-on. The black, blue, and green resin, so everyone gets the same colors. That's also a premium add-on. Um, as is the uh, polymer clay food mix, premium add-on. The little plushy molds and the uh, vending machine stickers. And the regular items are uh, the two vending machine molds, the little uh, food and drinks clear molds, and the cute little animal stickers, along with the epoxy resin, the pigments, the colorful beads and the embellishments and the shaker film so even if you get just the regular box you've got quite a lot to work with here um i've got the premium so i've got a few more extra items and i'm really really pleased with it i think we've gotten a lot in in both boxes really it does also have the instructions in there too so if you are like brand spanking new to resin and you have no idea what you're doing just follow the instructions that are in this booklet Oh my goodness, I think this is so, so cute. Oh, I've just seen the theme for next month. It's coasters and trinket dishes. So hopefully I'll forget that by the time next month comes around. <laughs> I can't wait to sink my teeth into this box. I feel though that I haven't been able to do the blowout box justice just because Christmas, New Year and all that jazz. There's been a lot going on. Um, so like, I'm gonna have to just, bundle things together and just come up with some crazy stuff for you guys to look at so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this and if you are considering subscribing to the sophie and toffee elves box and i have left some discount codes down below for you go ahead click the links and check them out um i absolutely love the sophie and toffee boxes as you can tell so yeah highly recommended if resin crafts are your thing then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my videos and please do check out my sophie and toffee crafts playlist because there are plenty of things in there to help get you started take care my darlings and i'll see you all soon Mwah. bye